The Frail Neck Lizard by Tim Spencer. It's the only member of the genus Chlamydosaurus. They can reach about 3 feet head to tail and weigh up to 1.1 pounds. They live in tropical and warm forests and savanna woodlands of northern Australia and southern New Guinea. They spend most of their lives in trees but descend occasionally to eat and defend their territory. They have very big claws which makes it easier for them to climb trees quickly. They eat ants, small lizards, spiders, cicadas, termites, and small mammals. The frail neck lizard has very good camouflage skills. It blends it with trees, grass, and sometimes leaves. Uh oh, where did it go? The frail neck lizard is pretty much harmless. It is not venomous, it does not want to bite or fight other animals. But when it feels threatened, it lets out the big flap around its neck and hisses. But it's only to look scary. But when that doesn't work, it runs away in a funny fashion. Now I know that seems scary, but guess what? They're pretty much harmless. Their main predators are birds, larger lizards, snakes, dingoes, and feral cats. Most of the time, that little flap of the skin actually works against bigger animals. And for those who don't know what a dingo is, this is a dingo. Nice puppy. But the lizard's populations are decreasing quickly. You ask why? Mainly because habitat reduction in some areas. So what can be done about this? Please help. Many national wildlife refugees are being built and plan to be built for these creatures. This is mainly so habitat reduction does not happen in that area. Frilled neck lizards in captivity have a lifespan of 20 years. But frilled neck lizards lifespan in the wild is still unknown to this day. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.